Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, in one or two sentences, write on the chat how your day was today. It was a fun day, it was a great day, it was a busy day. I did a lot of activities. I went out of San Salvador. I had so many tasks. One or two sentences describe how your day was today. Please. That's the first task. Okay, we got the first, the first message says good evening. Today, I can be participating in class because I'm applying and updating all the stored computers. Really? My goodness. Okay. All right, everybody, writing on the chat how your day was. It was a good day. It was a busy day. It was an awesome day. It was a stressful day. All right. A sentence. A sentence. Not only a word. A sentence. We need to write complete ideas. Good evening. Today it was. Okay. Today was a little bit stressful because. Because. We need the because. I'll explain a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Yes, we need a little bit of explanation. All right. Today was, oh, it was a really busy day. I'm still at my job and I finish. So no problem with the class. Okay, Fernando. No problem. <laughs> that sounds like it's Spanish on purpose, I bet. All right, very good. Roberto says, good evening. Today was a productive day, but a little busy and tired at the same time. That's all right. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, I bet. I bet it was stressful and busy, but at the same time, productive. Awesome, awesome. Keep going, keep going, people. Keep describing. The ones that haven't done it yet still have time to do it. All right, it was a little bit stressful because there was a lot of work to do. I believe you. I feel you. <laughs> yes, same here, same here. Very, very nice, productive, different and interesting day, but with so many things to do, very, very busy, a lot of work. Nice, I'm reading, I love reading your uh, your your tax. My that was a little stressful because it's a closing of a week. It's a closing of a week and a closing of a month. If you work in the finance area, definitely you have it hard. You have a hard time these days. Hi, good evening, teacher. I'm still driving to my home. I will be as a listener. God, <laughs> I. I can't imagine you guys driving this time going home. Yeah, because I usually drive around 6, 6.30 p.m. The latest at 7. But this time, pretty late already. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. Okay. Let 
All right. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to complete your description about your day, the ones that haven't done it yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please. Oh, all right. Give me a second. I'm looking for the list. All right. Okay. So we're we ready for the attendance before anything else happens. Let me see. Uh, all right, nobody else wrote anything else. This, all right, despite of the time I've given. So we having, yeah, we're having the attendance already. I see most of the participants are connected already. So let's get the attendance. Abigail Elizabeth. Present teacher. Well, good evening. Atilio Ernesto. Not today. Elizabeth and Stephanie. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. All right. Uh, let's see. We still have one message from Miss Miguel. Today was tired because I woke up at 3.45 a.m. My goodness. Emerson, I'm still working? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fernando? Good evening. Good evening. All right. Francisco, Ernesto? I don't see. I can't see. Hazel? Hazel, Hazel. I think I saw Hazel somewhere. Oh, yeah, she's connecting her audio. Okay. Hazel? She's still struggling. Okay, Juan Antonio? Juan Antonio? No, Julissa? Julissa, Julissa? No. Carla Ivania? Apparently no. Okay. Luis Javier? No. Please, Miguel. Present teacher. No, how are you? Uh, it's tired. So tired. <laughs> All right. It's going to be a long, long day. Yes. I know. Yes. All right. Hello. Atilio have a problem with the phone. With the phone. Yes, in the afternoon. Uh, he worked with me. But he can get a very good one, a new one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a I problem. That shouldn't be yes. a problem. The company can provide a better one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <I'm not> sure about... <laughs> that should be. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the way, but it's not really the way it is. Okay. Got it. Thank you for letting me know. Anyways. Oh, my dear. Present teacher. 
Well, how are you doing? I'm driving jet Still in driving. Charles Street. My God. Yeah. Where do you drive? From San Salvador to? From San Salvador to Hayek de la Libertad. Oh, but you're almost there. Yeah. Almost there. Careful. Careful because Thanks. it has rained a lot. Yeah, it's raining a lot. It's still raining, right? Yeah. Here it's raining, but not that heavy anymore. It's just soft rain. Okay, thanks. Then we got Manuel Alexander. Present. Hi, how are you? Also. Also, still at work? No. Okay. Nice. Madeline. Present. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. I'm a little tired. Tired? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I, and tomorrow I will only listen to the classes because I will work until 11 at night again. Ah, oh, those shifts. Those yeah. are really late shifts you have. Yeah. Okay. Good. Just remind us, okay? Try to okay. write a message to remind us because okay. sometimes it's hard for me to remember who has a late, uh, I mean, yeah, a very late shift. All right. Nice. Okay. Mario Ernesto. Yes, sir. Hi, how are you? It's still, well. work. it's still working. It's still at work. Jesus. Roberto Saul. Good evening. Good evening. Praise the teacher. Everything okay? Yeah, yes, yeah, everything okay. Thank you? God. Yeah. I'm doing great, thank God. Yeah, I thought it was okay. not, uh, yeah, I was gonna be late today, but fortunately we didn't find much traffic, so it was it was okay. Ah, that's, that's very good. Oh, yeah. Thanks for asking anyway. Well, Ronald already said present. Victor, are you here? Present. Present, teacher. Victor Bonilla. Present. Hi. Everything fine? Hi, teacher. I, I, I am still work. working. Okay, Vidal Byron. Present teacher. Hi, how are you doing? Mm, very good. I got home because there are a lot of traffic. You haven't gotten home yet. You're still in traffic. Mm, yes. Oh my God. But, uh, I got home. Right now? Uh huh. Just arriving. Yes. Okay. Thank God. Safe and sound. Yes. Okay. Great. And what did? Present teacher. Hi. How are you, Wendy? Uh, pirates. Hi. I have a very heavy shift. Very yeah. heavy shift. Or many hours, long hours. Yes, I'm still in the, the job. <laughs> I'm still in at work. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. And we got Carlos Alberto Castro. Present. How are you? Everything okay? All right. Well, thank you for participating. Thank you for taking the time of writing. Okay, any inconvenience or reporting any inconvenience in the chat or any reminder since we are, um, Francisco, did I mention? you 
Francisco. Well, if you need to report anything, you may write it down on the chat, okay? I'll be reading. And there will also be the, the evidence of the reason why, okay, you have issues or inconveniences uh, participating actively in class, all right? Great, I will appreciate that. Okay, this is our fourth section. Yeah, almost finishing the first week, which is really cool. I guess these courses are very short and we have to take advantage of every single session. Let me, yeah, let me look right here because of the manual, yes. And there we go. Okay, I'm going to share the screen with the general information of this session. And of course, today is the 28th of September, almost the end of the month as well. So this is the intermediate level and the module number four and the session number four. That's a coincidence. Okay, the reminders and, you know, the way um, things are graded and evaluated in this type of courses. And that's because of the participation, really count, okay? Really counts, actually. Then the expected way to participating also on the online session. This is also very important. And of course, the objective for this session, we are still working with the first unit. And today, yeah, we definitely decide on the most appropriate distribution channel for the problem based on the information from the metrics analysis. So, there is a little bit of some concepts I found. For example, target market, a group of people who have been identified as the most likely potential customers for a product because of the shared characteristics such as age, income, and lifestyle. Give me one second, just need to donate my laptop. Hold on. All right, I see, Victor, you need the manual. The participants manual, it's on the platform. You can perfectly download it from there, but in, if you give me a couple of minutes, I can share with you on WhatsApp, no problem. All right. Okay. Yes, as I was saying, um, yeah, there are some concepts that we're going to find on this lesson, okay, such as, you know, products or fit product or fit markets, okay? So this is a diagram that kind of shows, okay, some of these concepts, right? And definitely we have the distribution channel decision metrics below, right? So possible channels, will customers buy, fit products and brands, fit organizations, and profit and profit potential, right? So this is the metric for you to decide. And then of course we have this example. 
All right, look at the matrix, possible channels. We have studied the, the, the vocabulary related to the possible channels before. So we're gonna be able to show also a review by the direct retailers, okay? Those concepts, okay? The direct or indirect uh, channels, right? Will customers buy? So that's something we have to discover with products and brands, with organizations, and profits potential. Give me one second. Oh, yeah, somebody already put it on the chat, Victor, if you want to download it from there. Thank you, Luis. All right, and then we have this exercise, right? This is something we have to discuss. Let's look at the distribution channel decision metrics below. And then we have this examples. You are a group of farmers with high-end products who want to expand out of the local market. Fill in the possible distribution channels you could use to make the business grow. Use the metrics above and answer the questions for each option, yes or no. Okay. Choose the channels that have an uh sorry, choose the channels that have an affirmative answer to every question and think if he will be the best choice for the business. Okay, we're gonna use a little bit of our imaginations because I don't think anybody is a farmer here, right? But let's role play it a, a little bit. Farmers. What do farmers in El Salvador produce? Uh huh. People who sugar. Today. Uh huh. Sugar. Sugar. Yeah, sugar cane. In a more industrialized way, probably sugar, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Coffee. 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 Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, corn. corn. Uh -huh. Corn, Loroco. Uh-huh. How would you say pepino? Cucumbers. 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 Actually, vegetables, some vegetables, right? Yes. Uh-huh. Um, like cucumbers, watermelons, melons, tomatoes, onions, radish, beans, 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 beans rice. Rice, yes. Uh -huh. um, so the, the uh, ones that are a little bit familiar with uh, Zapotitan, I guess this is yes, one of the... Yes, uh, you're in my mind. I have the uh, opportunity to, to, to come to Zapotitan the last week. Really? We put, yes, we put Sina in, in this place. It is very interesting, the farmers in this place. Yeah, actually, uh, I have heard and I, and I knew about these places that are like the most, let's say, fertile places in the country because of the soil, because of the type of land, because of the nutrition that the, the land has. So those are like the most productive, right, um, soils. But I had never had the experience until a year or two years ago that I I was invited because a friend's father has a piece of land there. So they cultivate rice. And I had the opportunity to go and I see any, any plant that exists there produces something. You know, we could find guayabas, uh, how do you call this, guanabas. We could find so many fruits. Actually, they gave us some fruits. And, I mean, the people that take care of the of the land. So I could see that, that I mean, without this part of the country, without this really uh, productive place, that probably El Salvador wouldn't have enough food, even though, you know, we have these parts of lands, or we have these farmers that produce lots of food in this area. Uh, sometimes there are some areas in the country that things or ingredients for food are still expensive because they, of, uh -huh. 
sorry, the is the reason why the the in the eighties the people called to Zapotitan el granero de El Salvador. Right, exactly. That would be oh how do you call bunk, I think. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Oh barn. B A R N barn. Yes, that's granero. So these places are definitely the richest places in nutrition to cultivate. There's also this place, uh, it's usually at the bottom of the hills or mountains or volcanoes where the soils are more fertile, right? So I think this place also called uh, in San Vicente, I think it's El Valle de Hiboa. It's usually the valleys, right? That is yeah. also a very, uh, Bajo Lempa, I guess, also very productive. So... Farmers produce a lot of things and also sometimes we don't know or we're not aware of, right? And unfortunately, sometimes um maybe they don't have the support that is expected, right? So only if they are really, really into cultivating, they keep doing it. Otherwise, people get really discouraged, people change their mind about cultivating the, the the land and they better look for something else to do. So that's why I told you, maybe none of us is a farmer. We're going to imagine, right? That you are a group of farmers with high-end products. High-end yeah. products, yes, who want to expand out of the local market. I think most of the time we tend to, to have the idea that farmers produce this, you know, vegetables, cereals, or any other goods, and they can only sell in the markets, like local markets. But they also can have access to expand their sales and their products uh, to supermarkets or export at an international level, right? So that's why we're going to do this exercise. So fill in the possible distribution channels you could use to make the business grow. Use the metrics above and answer the questions for each option, yes or no. Then choose the channels that have an affirmative answer to every question and think if it will be the best choice for the business. And then explain your choices to the class. So I think it's a little bit complicated <laughs> okay all right possible channels we will have to double check the vocabulary will customers buy mm, okay fit products and brands so if the products are what the customers need that that's what means fit products fit organizations probably organizations that will need these products and profit potential. Profit potential is the amount of money that you think you will get after selling these products. Let me share from the manual because I guess here we can see a little bit more. Okay. All right, for the ones that are just um not very familiar with the distribution channels, we've got the direct channel, the retail channel, and the wholesale channel. Remember the direct channel, you are the producer and you sell it direct to the consumer, right? And the retail channel, you're the producer, and you sell it to another institution, to another uh store and then this store distributes the products to the consumers and the wholesale channels you are the producer you sell it to another business which is a wholesale distributor this distributor sell it to the retailer or to the big stores and the stores sell it to the consumer right so those from the more direct to the less direct channels right so those are the things that you're going to take into account for these possible channels. 
will the customers buy? Think about it, okay? Yes, and fit products and brands. So what products? Because you say you are a group of farmers with high-end products who want to expand out of the local market. So you want to innovate with different products, right? So fit organizations, if you think there might be some organizations that are interested and how much money do you think we're going to make with this product? Right? Is there any question? Can, can you do like an example? An example. All yes. right. Let me choose this one. Yeah. I'm going to write here. Are you going to get the right like, rate? channel my letter is too big let me move it a little bit okay let me say i'm i'm the producer and i'm selling this product direct to the customer right will the customer buy i will say yes okay the fit product and brand, I think I'm going to have, let's say, if I want to innovate in products hmm, on a high end. High end means like very innovative, high technology, high quality, okay, products. So I would sell a strawberries. Oh, my God. <laughs> a strawberry. Have you seen farmers producing strawberries in El Salvador? Or do you have any idea? I remember that in Boquero uh, Park and Chalatenango. Uh -huh, I saw a video as well. There is a place in Chalatenango where they uh, grow strawberries. But I think it's really difficult. So maybe you will get a negative profit potential. <laughs> <laughs> Don't discourage me, it's my example. <laughs> I, okay, let me finish my example. All right. The organizations that might feed the need, okay, that might need is strawberries, I would say bakeries. Because of the desserts, right? They need bakeries. And the profit potential. This is probably where I go bankrupt, right? Where I would lose my money. Mm -hmm. Why do you think uh it's not a very big but I mean profit potential from cultivating strawberries? Because the weather. Because of the weather, because of the weather conditions, right? And because there are very let's say very few spots where I could get the land to cultivate with prox close weather condition and that would be in highlands. Yes, mm -hmm. it would have to be on El Boquero or in Chalatenango. Ah, profit potential, I would say mm -hmm. How would you how would you rate it? Like in numbers or in percentage? In percentage, maybe. Uh huh. I would say bro, I would get it five percent. <laughs> not not very optimistic, right? <laughs> okay. So I would say it like that. Yes. Yes. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. So I will give you a couple of minutes for you to think about your example. I mean, you can use retails, net, I mean, channels here, wholesale channels as well as you wish. And you think, well, customers buy. Of course, I mean, you got to be optimistic, right? <laughs> and then uh, the products any product that you think the market might need 
or organizations that might be interested in getting your products and the profit potential you expect. All right, I'm gonna give a couple of minutes for you to think about your examples and then we are going to share. First, we'll share with the, with some of our customers because some of our partners are not available, but at least we're gonna to try to make those available work together. And the rest, we're gonna share with the whole class, right? I'm going to just move a little bit, but while you work. Do you have your examples already? <laughs> Almost? Almost ready? All right.
Hi, Elizabeth. Hi. Do you got your examples? Almost finished. Okay. What the teacher write on FITS organization? Like the people or the target market who will buy your product. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready. If you want, you can go first. Okay, uh, impossible channels. I wrote retail channel. Customers will buy. Uh, obviously, I put. I wrote yes. Oh, let me see if I can share it. Um, um, Are you working in computer on yourself? In the computer, but I have some problems. Um, uh, let me see. Can you see it? Yes, I can. Okay, so the activity is to like to imagine uh, that we are like a farmer and that we have some products and we have to think about a possible channel solution. Uh, if the if we think that the that the product will be bought for customers. Um, this one I remember, I think is the like the product. This one will be like uh, where we will sell it. And this is like what we expect. What is the expected um, the expected profit? Um, for example, I have think about a uh, apicultory and like uh, everything be a. Uh, retail channel and product and sell a product like honey a propolio candles a, the aromatic ones and also um, a, um soap that everything is made with the with a, well, the b with the other uh, with the the product that the the we produce Honey, uh, the propolios, and the beeswax that can be converted to candles and and also to to soap and think like the honey and the candle and the beeswax can be sold to supermarket, to grocery store, to convenience stores, and the propolio to to drug stores. So I that is the thing that I have. That are the that those are the things that I have. Uh, think about and that's good uh, what uh, what is the possible channel in this case retail store only produce and sell it retail to... store uh, a retail hundred retail channel retail channel
Ordeñar. Ordeñar. Order. Or, oh, milking cows. Or milk the cow. Yes, you only have to milk the cow and you got the milk. And I know maybe you can give to someone else to do the, like the clean for all the parasites. I don't know. Mm. But, but it's what I said that almost everyone drink milk. So, okay. Uh, tell me. Oh, no. Continue. I told you 80%, but I will lower low it to 40%, okay? <laughs> oh, I say everybody likes milk. <laughs> <laughs> but I have the doubt if the cows just uh, give us milk when they recently have a, a baby. Uh... Or... The cows are always giving us milk. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. I think there are there exist like types of cows. Those that are for meat and those that are for milk. So in my farm, I got milky cows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, nice. <laughs> what is your other example? Uh, I just uh, did one. Uh, <laughs> okay. <It's> okay. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe we can do one together. Mm.
All right. It's anyone available to share examples? Yes, teacher. All right. Go ahead. I got a. My first example will be mm -hmm. impossible channels, mm -hmm. retail channel. All right. Custom will but customers buy? Obviously, yes, because it's my product. It's, it's <laughs> they, my product. they must buy. Yeah. All right. Uh, Pete's product and brand, I put chicken because farms also work with animals. In Pete's organization, I put butcher shop. Okay, butchers. Uh -huh. And in profit potential, because everyone likes chicken, I put 80%. 80%. Yes. Very optimistic. <laughs> All right. Is there anything innovative about chicken? Because there are already many farms that sell chicken. Yes, but my chicken is better than sello de oro. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> because That's... the flavor the flavor is different all right and <laughs> what makes this chicken to have a better taste the food that i gave oh. the food that, that they eat the way you feed them okay? yes okay so they will be more organic they will have more yes, more, more natural more natural diet yes. all right okay very good good job so you can nominate someone else? I nominate, let me see the chat, the, the, I want to nominate the people who work with me, Elizabeth. All right. <laughs> yeah, I heard she got very good ideas as well. Hello. <laughs> um, possible channels, um, direct channels. Will customers buy? Yes, I hope so. <laughs> uh, Fits product and brand, uh, cucumber. Fits organization, restaurant and markets. Profit potential, 10%. 10%. Yes. Okay, anything innovative from this cucumbers you will produce? Uh, I choose uh, cucumber because I was written and it is easier and faster to farm. That's true. <laughs> Actually, my dad used to produce cucumbers long, long time ago. And <laughs> yeah, there's not much to do. Just plant them, take good care of them, make sure they have enough water, enough sun. And... Once they start producing, they produce really fast. Now you can grow cucumbers like every single day. You can take a lot of, I mean, you can pick up a lot of cucumbers. And if, if you pick them like not that big, they are really, really crunchy and tasty. But if you let them grow, then probably people get um kind of attracted by the size. But the taste is not that good. Yes. Uh -huh. right. All right. Interesting. Anything innovative besides the fact that they're just easy to produce? Mm. Well, I I didn't think about it. <laughs> All right. Remember that you are a group of farmers with high-end products. High-end products means that they are different, they are innovative, they are better, right? Okay. So who do you nominate? Um, let me see. Um, my dad. All right. 
Uh, sorry, teacher, in this moment, I just arrived into my home. I can do it. All right, don't worry. <laughs> so Stephanie Thanks. will have to nominate someone else. I'll let you know. Let me see. I think you can nominate. Um, wait a second. I think. Oh my god. I guess. I'm not quite sure if Luis or Waldir. What Luis? <laughs> I think we yeah, have Luis Miguel. Did you write your examples? No, teacher, but I think you make up something. Yes, if right. I plan something, I think it's Pita High. Really? Yeah, you would be for it is so expensive. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Um what I have to do? I Yeah, just, just fill in all the uh, yeah. Okay. For example. Mm -hmm. Direct channel, retail channel, wholesale. Direct, direct, direct. channel. Uh -huh. yeah. And the customers will buy, you think? Yes, everybody buy Pita Haya. Yeah. You know how to call Pita Haya in English? No. Dragon. Ah, uh, red dragon, yes. <laughs> fruit and dragon, yes. It's so funny because in Asia, this is a common fruit already. Yes. And I remember in El Salvador, you Maybe it was not that popular, but in the countryside, it was normal to see pita hayas. Yes, right mm -hmm. now it is very popular. Uh -huh. It's it's becoming people. popular yeah, because of the, of the profit the that you could make. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Fits organization, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember why it's a pizza organization. Like any uh, business, do you think you, they might be interested? Sorry, I, I can hear. Like any business that they might be interested in buying your product. Like supermarkets in this case, I think. Yes. Um, and the uh, whole channel, like Tiendona. Mm hmm Profit profits potential, I don't know. How much money you would make? A lot of money. <laughs> so you think you would the make like the fifty percent? Yeah, the, the plants don't don't need many curves to, to grow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw a video. They only need something to stand. Like they put kind of a support, concrete yeah. support next to it. Like right? a wall. Mm -hmm. A yeah. wall, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, like a wall. A dead uh -huh. tree, I don't know. They, they put like a post. Yes, uh -huh. like a post. And I don't know how to say more. They tie or they, they tangle around the post or they hold it on the post, right? Yeah, but mm -hmm. the profit potential, I, I think it's a 90%. 90? Yeah, because you need to to invest in... in but the 90, it's, it's very much. Yes. Um, okay, only, great. Only need to, to invest in transportation, I, I think. Yeah, the piece of land, that's a lot. That costs a lot of money. But if you already have land to plant, then you don't have to invest much. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they say that it's long-term plantation because they start getting fruits 
like in four years, like three, four years, to start recovering yeah. from the and investment. The, and the rent, the land is, is, is not expensive. Mm -hmm. Like Zapotitán is. You think? It's not expensive. Yes, I think. All right. Sounds good, and actually. <laughs> All right. Okay, anyone else? I heard about Loroco, I heard about honey, I heard about milk, but I think there was the same people that already participated. Right? All right. Pineapples. Pineapples. Mm -hmm. The farmers in the country produce pineapples. Pineapples. Like in San Tamarios too, my heart. Ah, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. it's true. Oh, there's another thing that I, I guess we haven't mentioned yet, but there are some farmers in San Juan that they produce Cocote Corona. Cocote Corona, yeah. That's so tasty. And they, I have seen videos that people from outside that come to the country and taste compote corona. They say that it's how, tasty sweet fruit that doesn't exist anywhere in the world. How about you say um, cosecha? Harvest. 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 H A R V E S T. Uh -huh. Harvest. Harvest. Mm -hmm. The people sell the harvest in. Probably I know one one group of people they sell the cosecha como how you say cosecha. harvest harvest for ten thousand dollars. My goodness, but there is I mean very very small area where this type of plantations grow because if you plant a tree of these cocotes in any other part of the country only the, around the 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 several you know, the yeah uh-huh that's what i was telling you because if you plant my father tried to plant a tree not even cocote corona it was the invierno cocote de invierno and he used to take very good care of this tree only one tree and then he could probably get about one or two years some focotes and then like the third year the tree died and he just just like that because the, the tree was like, the branches were really heavy. So the soil was not really good enough. The conditions were not good enough for the roots of the tree. So when there was a rain, there was a storm, the tree fell and the tree died. So I think that's another, another difficulty for us if we would like to produce those type of fruits. I think okay. one product of this protocol mm -hmm. is a loroco because so many people export the loroco to yeah. the major state. Now they yeah it, it it's becoming popular and because they use it for dressings and seasonings now for different dishes, right? Okay. And that is also producing the Area of Awachapan too, right? But it's it's possible to produce it somewhere else as well. Oh, San right. Salpa. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. Oh, nice. Uh huh. Ain't nobody talked also about producing fish. Maybe it's not farmers, but now in lakes or ponds. People get to grow fish as well. Fish? Fish, uh -huh, like in Ilopango. Mm, in, in Zapotitán also, they have a pool with, with tilapia. Oh, really? Yes. Uh -huh. 
I heard one day that a doctor told my brother that if you eat fish from the ocean, it's dangerous because it has a lot of salt. But if you eat fish, the brewing in sweet water, it's not that bad. Um, for the sea, the, the people produce uh, chills, mm -hmm. conchas, I don't know. Shells. Shells, yeah. Mm -hmm. Seashells in trees. Okay. Well, let's keep going. Thanks for the participation. Very good. We have this other objective right here. Compare distribution options to feed products target market. Remember that Juan and Saul appear in a conversation before. I don't know if you remember them. Let's see. Let's find them. Mm -hmm. So those are the same people because here it says Ed and Philip. They're talking about ice cream. And here, Juan and Saul. Not the same. No. <laughs> Maybe now they they are just the the other people that are trying to sell ice cream, right? let's say. Okay. What is the most important value a company should get for distribution services? Can personalized packaging and product testing be considered an extra value? Okay. Those are questions for you to think about. Packaging, like the package logo, the package design, the package material is important. Product testing, is that an extra value? So people, consumers, customers get attracted by those elements. You know, it's it's very interesting because here that Ed and Philip are discussing the sales of their ice cream. So in turn practicing the conversation with the partner. But then I see one and so that's what I, I, I was telling. <laughs> that's kind of weird, if you ask me. All right. <laughs> so what's the most important value a company should get for distribution service? What do you think? This thing like uh, quality control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think reach, about... reach to every part of the country or, or world. Ah, okay, reach a bigger market, more customers, all right. It's an important value of a company. Okay. Packaging? Is that important? For me, yes. Or to me. Uh -huh. Packaging. For, it, it is for me or to me? To me. Okay. It all depends, actually. <laughs> People usually say it for me. Uh, in a way of expressing, maybe we understand or we are used to saying that. But for me, when something is for you, something was given, I guess, mm -hmm. to me, to my point of view, yes, to me, would be the right way. But we are used to saying to me. Right? So these are some of the plus, some of the extra, right? That people consider in, in businesses. Something that I could mention is the, probably the design, the logos, the colors, right? 
that people identify that that's that product. Okay, for example, let's see something that identifies uh, a famous bakery. Do you buy cakes? Huh? <laughs> you say, oh, if you see this like green and white uh, kind of vintage design, you say, oh, yeah, I know which bakery that is, right? So sometimes the designs or the packaging like will identify colors and logos also. I mean, give a sense of identity to that product or to that brand right so we're going to practice a conversation we'll be on this i don't know if ed and phil or wine and sour ed and phil are discussing the sales of their ice cream that's what i was telling you because in the previous conversation they were discussing right so we have to reevaluate our distribution options Consumers are not as interested as in purchasing our products from retail stores as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacity. I agree. Let's look for distribution option that allows us to get our products in a strategy, a strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will call a consultant to ask about some more possible wholesalers. Okay, so remember that they started this business of ice cream and they were thinking about selling their ice cream to a store. So that was one of the yeah options they mentioned, right? I will read it once again, and if you have any doubts, please let me know. Okay, we have to reevaluate our distribution options. Consumers are not as interested as are not as interested in purchasing our products from retail stores as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allows us to get our products in a strategic place, a strategic places actually on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesaler. All right. Is there any question? No. No, clear. Yes. Great. There are some bold, like, this expression, are not as interested in as before. It's, a strategic, it's not as a strategic as, okay? So try to pay attention to those expressions as well because we're going to need them in a while, okay? So match the distribution options to their benefits, okay? We have online sales, catalogs and direct mail, retail outlets, and cold sellers. Here we have the benefits and the distribution options, right? While you must pay a wholesaler and retailer commission, this option should be able to get you a lower rate with retailers. You can stock inventory and fulfill orders yourself or use a fulfillment service to handle your orders. You may have chains of independent retailers sell your products for you. And you can take orders over a toll-free number of website, URL, you provide you on the mail piece, or you can have customers mail order requests to you. So you do this reading in the match with the distribution options, right? Of course, we're gonna get some time for practice in the conversation as well. Remember, 
that they were really engaged at the beginning with one of the distribution options that now it seems that they don't work as they expected. All right. I think more people should be able to work now. Let's see, I'm gonna actually one more. All right. look for a distribution option that allows us to get our products in a tragic, a tragic place in time. The current retail store is not uh, as strategic as I thought it could be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible reseller. Okay. We had to reevaluate our distribution option. Customers are not interested in purchasing our products from retailer store at the four. The only store is becoming very popular probably. We need to switch to wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allows allow allows us to get our products in strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic, strategic as I thought I will be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Okay, we had to match the the auction here. What do you think? While you must pay with seller and retail commission, this is an option she will be able to get you a lower rate with retailers. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I think it's with seller. Yes, maybe. Okay, mm -hmm. and the second one I think is catalogs and direct mails. Yes, I have eventually the catalog. And you have my chain of the mm. Oh. Mm. Mm, probably not online sales. No, I think it's the I think online service is the last ah, okay. one. Yes, I okay, think yeah. it's the last, okay, the last one. Yes, it's the last one, yeah. And the third is the retail outlet. Yes, yes, yeah, 
is correct. Okay. Okay. Elizabeth. Mm. Marilyn. Do you want Hello? to practice the conversation? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Choose uh, one. Marilyn, do you want to be Juan or okay. Saul? Okay, one. Okay. We have to evaluate our solution option. Consumers are not as interested in pushing our product from retail stores as before. The online stores is becoming very popular. Probably, probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allows to get our products in a strategic places of time. The current retail store is not as strategic as a how it could be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible possible wholesalers. I don't know that you can change. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Um, we had to revelate. Yes. Wholesaler is the number two. And retail outlet is the is the first one. Okay. I think I don't know. It makes sense because why would you be paying a commission to a retailer if you are paying a wholesaler? Yeah. You said uh, retail store is the number two. Or number three. Repeat, please. Retail outlets is the number is number two or number three? Online site or Online sale. Oh, online sales is number four. Catalog, okay. Catalogs and direct mail is number two. Retail outlet is number one and wholesaler is number three. Okay. If you wish, uh, we can we can read uh, each definition. Okay. If you want to start. Okay, I'm going to start. Um, retail outlets. It the first. Yes. Yes, I think. While you must pay. Uh, who seller and retail commission? This option should be able to get to get you a lower rate with retailers. Okay, catalogs and direct mail is you can stock inventory and fulfill order yourself or use a fulfillment service to handle your orders. Okay. Uh, 
food sellers is you may have chain or independent retailers sell your product for you. Yes. And online sales, you can take orders over a toll free numbers or website URL you provide on the mail piece, or you can have customers mail order request to you. Okay. If uh, if we have a time, uh, we may read the conversation again. I don't know. Would you like to read again? Okay. Okay, I'm going to start with Juan. We have to reevaluate our distribution option. Consumers are not at interest, as interested in purchasing our products from retail stores as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allow us to get our products in a strategic place on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it will be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possi possi possible wholesalers. Okay, now you are one. We have to reevaluate our distribution options. Consumers are not as interested in purchasing or product from retail store as before. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a uh, wholesaler who can provide us with extra, extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allows us to get our products in a strategic place on time. The current retail store is not as ready as I thought it would be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Nice. Okay. 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 I think everybody's back, right? Good. Okay. From oh my goodness. From the breakout rooms, I got let me see. Let me see. Oh, we're gonna listen to the ladies, Stephanie and Marilyn. Are you ready? 
for the conversation? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, I go first? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we have to reevaluate our distribution options. Consum consumers are not as interested in purchasing our products from retail store as before. Marilyn? Thanks. The online store is becoming very popular. Probably we need to switch to a whole wholesaler who can provide us with extra storage capacities. I agree. Let's look for a distribution option that allow us to get our products in a strategic places on time. The current retail store is not as strategic as I thought it would it will be. I will call a consultant to ask about some possible wholesalers. Wholesalers, that's right. Good. Is there any question or any doubts we have? Nope. We go to the vocabulary, building vocabulary, vocabulary building, match the distribution options to their benefits. While you must pay a wholesaler and retailer commission, this option should be able to get you a lower rate with retailers. Which one do you put in here? Wholesalers. Wholesalers? Yes. Yeah. While you must pay a wholesaler and retailer's commission, this option should be able to get you a lower rate with retailers. Everybody agrees? With the first In one? In my case, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. And the second one, you can stock inventory and fulfill orders yourself or use a fulfillment service to handle your orders. Catalogs mm -hmm. and direct mail. The goes with the catalogs? Are in PC? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you can stock inventory and fulfill orders yourself or use a fulfillment service to handle your orders. Catalogs and direct mail? Uh, yeah, great teacher. Mm -hmm. And then you may have chains or independent retailers sell your product for you. Wholesalers. Wholesalers, that's right. And you can take orders over a toll-free number or website. Right with the mail piece, or you can have customers mail order request you. That's online sales. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, and where does the retail outlets go? For me, it's the third one. It's the third one? Yeah. But, um... uh huh. Does anybody go with the first one for retail outlets? No? Yes. You know, maybe change. Mm -hmm. He said, while you must pay a wholesaler and retailer's commission, this option does a different one. You should be able to get you a lower rate so you don't have to pay much with retailers. Because the will seller buy his product, to, you know, sell his product to retailers, no? Mm-hmm. Mm. For me, it's full seller. Full sellers, all right. And the third one is retail outlet. The third one. I think uh, that, that the first one, 
The first one, it is, it is catalogs and direct mail. And the second one is retail outlets. I don't know, I'm confused. <laughs> no, I'm confused. <laughs> All right, okay. I would say the first one is the outlets because you, pay, you pay a lower rate. <laughs> I was very sure, but right now, like, it's confused for me. No, it's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you can stock inventories and fulfill orders yourself or use a fulfillment service to handle your order. Yeah, I think this is the catalog. Chains are independent retailers of your products for you. Wholesalers. Yeah, the first three are a little bit confusing but i would say it that way where is the correct answer the first one retail outlets outlets mm -hmm. the second one i think is a catalog the when is the wholesalers. What what is retailer outlet means? Retailer outlets is these stores that usually sell probably not very high quality products. Um, maybe. It's, it's not the safe. product is, a high end is, is broken or a is high, out, high, out high, of the season. Exactly. So, for example, Simar has an outlet. There yeah. are, uh -huh, this is stores of shoes that have an outlet. Probably, probably it's not that it's a used product or second hand product, but it's product that has been on, on, on the windows or product that have a little stain. So, it's not like high quality. So those are the outlets. So definitely you will have to give less commission, I guess. But is the the sentence say lower rate is rates is like uh this product is broken, is second hand or avaria, I don't know how to say avaria. Nah high quality, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> <laughs> low, quality, low quality low quality uh -huh. is the reason they they get a lower rate uh -huh. mm. right now it's most confused all right okay i remember i told you to pay attention to the expressions that were involved. So, are not as interested in purchasing our products for retail so as before. And it's not as strategic as I thought it would be. So, I need you to pay attention to this because, let me see, oh goodness. Oh, Jesus. Wait a second. Are we surely? Yeah. Okay. We usually use as a strategic as to compare two things at the same level in an affirmative way. For example, Let's say, La Unión is as warm as San Miguel. Or in the negative form, like San Miguel is not as warm as La Unión, right? If it's not at the same level, we use in the negative form. But if it is at the same level, then we say as the adjective 
as the other thing. So that's why I want you to pay attention to this because we are going to have an explanation of this right here. One second. Okay. If you have the book, you probably have already checked it out. And it says, how to express comparison with us in the space here means an adjective as being as, as long as, as popular as, as fast as, as important as, as strategic as, right? As interested as, right? And not when it's not the same, okay? It's not as easy as, it's not as fast as, it's not as clear as, right? So that's, the structure we're going to use to compare, to express comparison. Look at examples in the box and complete the exercises below. Let's see, Fernando, are you available to read? Yes. All right, go ahead. When we compare people, objects, or ideas, and we want to show that they that they are the same or do the something in the in the same way, we use the form as plus adjective slash adverb plus us. Exactly, it can be either an adjective or an adverb plus us, right? So as interesting us, right? So you say, oh, this, this book is as interesting as the movie, right? Or this country is as popular as this other country, all right? Or this exercise is as difficult as the other one, right? And the case of the adverse, like in this, we have comparison, I guess, important, much value, and fast, probably in this case, they refer to, okay. Yeah, I think all of them are used as additives, actually, all right. Getting the right product is as important as getting the right place to sell the product. The company adds as much value to distribution as they can. Add as much value as still. And comparison can also be negative. That, oh, my distributors are not as fast as the ones you're partnered with. Still, describing people or distributors. And the shipment transportation from my distributors is not as effective as shown in their advertising. Probably, yeah, we can have a uh, comparison with others, but in this case, most of these examples are with adjectives. Any questions so far? No. No. All right. Before we complete this exercise, because exercises on this uh, textbook definitely are going to be oriented to the topic we are discussing, right? Which is distribution channels. But you can use this structure to compare anything, right? That's why it says we can compare people, objects, or ideas. And when we want to show that they are the same or do something in the same way, right? So before completing this exercise, I need you to write on the chat any sentence using the comparison with us, adjective, us, right? Because this one would be a little bit more difficult. So now on the chat, one example. For example, my brother is as tall as my father. Yeah. English is as easy as science. No, science is not that easy. So you can say in, uh, science is not as easy as English. You can do it in an in affirmative or in a negative way. Mm -hmm. 
any sentence on the chat. All right, this is as delicious as proposals. Good. <laughs> uh -huh. We have collected just one. Anyone else? Just one example, oh my God. In in my example, mm -hmm. pizza is as delicious or pizza is delicious as pupusas? Yeah, you need as delicious as pupusas because you are okay. comparing and you're saying they are both delicious, the same level. <laughs> Coca-Cola is better as water. In this case, if you say Coca-Cola is better, better is a comparative. So you need to say them. But if you want to say that they are the same, probably you can say Pepsi is as sweet as Coca-Cola. Because as is tal cual, it's just the same. So, so I yes. grow it wrong. It just means one. <laughs> awesome. My sister is as, in, as intelligent as me. Uh -huh. That's a good one. I would say in El Salvador, Beach soccer is as popular as normal soccer. Do you know as many people as I do? As many people as I do. The sentence is right, but it's not the structure that we are using because we need to use as, adjective, and as again. As many people, probably in this case, would be a number of one people. So you're referring that if you know the same number of people that I do. All right. Mm -hmm. My mom is as hardworking as my father. Okay, the new movie as, is as sensational as the last one. Her eyes are as bright as the moon. Oh, wow. <laughs> now poetry. <laughs> Good. All right. Christmas is as popular as Valentine's Day. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no, I don't think Valentine's Day is as popular as Christmas. All right. So that was the idea. Bingo. So I think 
we're gonna try to answer. We're gonna try to solve this exercise. But in the platform, you may have as many examples, as many exercises with this structure as we have here. So the first one is already done. Help you produce as retailers are wholesalers much profit. So retailers help you produce as much profit as wholesalers. It's already done. Will be delivered as the payment is received, the achievement soon. Mm -hmm. I think this is a common expression you listen in English. As soon as. Uh -huh. So how would you start the number two? Anyone? May maybe it's the shipment. Mm -hmm. The shipment? The shipment soon will be delivered as soon. No, no, no. <laughs> will be. Uh, the shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. Exactly. The shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. No para no les mandamos las cosas. That's what they that usually a condition. Right. So the shipper will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. Igual, eso también lo podrían escribir invirtiendo el orden de las ideas. Like the payment. Oh no, as soon as the payment is received, the shipment will be delivered. As soon as, but this sounds better. The shipment will be delivered as soon as the payment is received. The other one, I'm not quite sure why my letter is so big. So, uh, storage capacity is as expensive product transportation. Uh -huh. This is easy. Product, product transportation is... Mm -hmm. Take I'm sorry. <laughs> product transportation. Uh -huh. I missed the letter A. Credit transportation is is as expensive as a storage capacity. As expensive as a storage capacity. Okay. This is the second one. Hopefully, efficient as other some channel distribution strategies are not as. Mm -hmm. Some channel distribution strategies. Wait a second. Yeah, some channel distribution strategies are efficient as. Um, are not. It's are even not like, are as not. Uh -huh. even as others. Yes. So be some distribution strategies are not as efficient as others, just like that. And the last one, it says profitable as selling or digital courses is not as through a store distributing them online. It has more information, but it's the same thing. 
Mm -hmm. Is selling our digital course? Selling our digital courses? It's not a through a store it's not as it's not profitable as profitable as distributing them online mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's how they would get let me just check something out right here all right production transportation is as expensive as the store capacity okay good Let's have the attendance. I hope you're able to answer. Abigail Elizabeth. Attilio Ernesto. Issues with his phone. <laughs> Elizabeth Stephanie. Emerson. No one is answering. All right, I go. Fernando. Evening. Francisco. Okay. Hazel. Juan Antonio. Julissa. Carla. Luis Javier. Luis Miguel. Present. Miguel, Saúl, Present. Manuel Present. Alexander. Mary, Present. Mario, Roberto, Ronald, Victor, Vidal, Valir, Carlos. Present. Carla, Carla is present. All right, thanks. It's so weird that Carlos goes at the end because I expected to see him like right in the same alphabetical order. Yesterday, <laughs> I was expecting Emerson to stay for the one on one section. What happened, Emerson? Uh, actually, we are updating the a new process for this so retail system. My work because tomorrow, uh, all the stores in Salvador will should have the facturation electronica. Oh, Jesus, really. For real, yeah. yeah, but one store, a uh, uh, two store. Oh, really? Yeah. So you're working twenty four seven. Well, only for only from today because it has to be ready for tomorrow before the stores get open. And what's the name of that store? If we could know. Payless. Really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's funny what a small world well many blessings <laughs> okay. it's because i work for ad hoc <laughs> oh really <laughs> but i don't work for a store i work for the for the social responsibility they have a foundation they mm. sponsor a scholarship for students of the area of Soyapango. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow. I work for the well, program Empresarial Superato. Well, actually, the software that a doc uses to sell is the same software. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they start selling online during the pandemic. Oh, yeah, that, that's mm -hmm. right. They were, they were mm -hmm. in that, too. And now they're trying to boost up that way of selling but huh, you know there are so many things that really take a lot of work in this country so <laughs> i would request you them... got mute oh really you got oh, mute teacher really oh yeah oh somebody's muting me <laughs> just somebody's kidding wants, wants <laughs> just kidding it's all right Okay, okay, I will request somebody else. Uh, oh, Fernando, Francisco, yes. oh, Fernando will stay instead of Emerson. Thank you. Good night, teacher. All right, good night, everybody. See you tomorrow for the last class of this week.
No, people don't want to go. <laughs> Good night, teacher. Good night. Oh, my God. I think they expect that I finish this session, <laughs> but I can't. I have to stay for the one on one session. Okay, Fernando, I want to do this in English, but of course, tell me yes. how has this experience been so far? Mm -hmm. Is this the first time you're studying here or you've been in this course before? No, this is the first time. All right. Yes. And it's, it's really different with the another class that I've been. Mm -hmm. So I like because it's because most, most of the time we, we are speaking. It's not like the other class that the teacher only speak and we, we write. So just that is one of the things that I like about this course. And one of the things that I don't like <laughs> is just the, the... You can be honest now. <laughs> yes. It's just the, the special, I mean, the oh, hour. Yes. yes. But everything else, I think is fine. It is really demanding. I know. I know. Yes. And that's one of the facts why they put this online courses, because at this time, who would be able to be on a site, right? Nobody. But if I if I tell you something, one thing I don't like is that there are so many people busy during the, during the session, so they must be able to communicate, not just to be there, connected. Who knows if they're even there? But that's one thing I already reported, so I hope the coordinators really take care of it. Because, I mean, when I make the, the small groups, it's for everybody to interact, but there are just one person and the other three or four don't even get connected. So, uh, <laughs> it's hard. It's because the first classes, I, I, I remember that almost everyone thought, and now it's just like just a few yes very few yeah but i hope this thing changes because um hopefully next week they won't have any excuse because it's not going to be the closing of the month so mm -hmm. most people should be available right yes all right so how did you get to this level how did you learn english and by yourself i remember since i was a child I listen to music in English and then I search the lyrics in Spanish to see like the, the translate. So they make sense. <laughs> uh -huh. And then I received English class at, at the Academy of Language at UCA. And I've been there like for two years and then for the for study and and later for work, I, I can. So I no puede seguir. I wasn't able to continue. Yes. Uh -huh. All right, but mm -hmm. you were you were in those classes in person. Excuse me. In person. Yes. All right. So this is your yes. first experience online. Yes, my first. All right. Time. And what's your schedule like? I always wake, wake up at 6. And you start working? At 8. And finish? At 6. <laughs> so your schedule is at work from 8 to 6? Yes. Between mm. when the 12 to 2, it is lunch time. And two hours of lunch. Yes. Nice. Maybe, maybe Three. <laughs> one hour, I go out at 5. Uh, really not... so you you have that possibility actually no <laughs> <laughs> but this this is special is also because to don't come to work on sunday but nobody works on sunday mm -hmm. sorry 
<laughs> That's all right. It's all right. I understand. But nobody, I mean, because of the law, you are not supposed to work on Sunday. No, sorry, Saturday. Saturday. Ah. Yes. But, I mean, even though it sounds like long hours, you have better, I mean, more flexible schedule than mine. Because yes. I start working at 7 and I finish at 5. And only I one hour for lunch. Ah, uh, it's like almost almost the same. Uh huh. But I I don't have the possibility of taking two hours for lunch. But I do you work on on Saturday? I don't. Uh, neither do I. I do, but for another institution, <laughs> not for that <laughs> one. <laughs> no, I, no. I got freelance. <laughs> yeah, but there's no flexibility. You know, for lunch you have only one hour, and sometimes less because of meetings. And at the end of the day, you can also have meetings. And sometimes we don't leave at 5. We leave at 5.30, 6. So sometimes for this class, I'm afraid I'm not going to make it. You know, I'm like, oh, I have to run. And I hate it when there's, a, there's a, let's say, an accident or something on the road. Or especially when it rains, the traffic goes crazy. So it's kind of... Messy. frustrating <laughs> yes. yeah well thank you for staying for now. I mean we just have to comply with insta for about about the time yeah about <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's okay I mean it's not easy for you to stay and because the other people are not available so thank you very much for staying mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to add anything else no it's all right mm -hmm. yes you're fine I sometimes just appear on this is right you know <laughs> okay. okay have a good night okay good night teacher bye, bye.